welcome Rick Robinson. I see people wearing their ski parkas out today, right? It was only 84 degrees. Yeah. It was so hot in Phoenix last week. How hot was it? It was so hot in Phoenix last week. How hot was it? It was so hot. Thank you for asking. It was so hot that the guys twirling the signs on the street corners were requesting the night shift. <laughs> you know, Scottsdale is a beautiful place, a beautiful people. All the nice cars in the parking lots of BMWs and Mercedes. You know, it's a lot different from where I perform. Where I look out in the uh, parking lot and see the pick em up trucks with the artificial cow balls dangling from <laughs> the trailer hitches. Just a little bit different. I'm actually from Pine Top. Anybody know where Pine Top's at? Because you're all up there on the weekends, huh? You invaders, we know you people. Bring your money, go home, Dom Pizza. You know, Pine Top's a very small town. You've heard the expression, what happens in Vegas? Stay Vegas. That's right. Well, what happens in Pine Top goes all over Pine Top. Yeah, it sure does. On the telephone lines, in the line at Walmart, at the Mormon church services on Sundays, <laughs> and Wednesdays, sometimes Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. You might guys not right realize this, but we actually have a homeless problem in Pine Top. I like to refer to it as the big fat lady who sits outside of Walmart in the parking lot. <laughs> or one person in Pine Top, a homeless person, yeah. It's, it's amazing, you know, having that many people in Pine Top, only one homeless person. You know, it's amazing, why do so many people that are homeless are so big? You know, very, very big people. And they always have the same sign every time. You've seen this, right? Homeless. Anything helps? Are you going to eat those fries? <laughs> so I felt bad for her. I decided to help her out, you know. So I gave her a new sign. The sign reads, do not feed the animals. <laughs> There's not many places to get your car fixed in Pine Top. I drive a Hyundai, and the nearest Hyundai dealer is down in Apache Junction. You know, a good two, three hours away. So I brought my car in to get fixed. He said, you know, we're going to have to keep it overnight. No problem. Can you guys give me a loaner? Sure. So he brought me on a homeless guy. <laughs> These are the easy ones, sir. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> by, uh, by applause, how many people think that Hillary Clinton is next in line to be our next president? A red state all the way, huh? A red state all the way. Well, don't feel bad because that's good. I'll tell you why. You don't have to worry about her being president. The reason why? She can't be president. The Constitution forbids it. She's already served two terms as president. Oh, <laughs> Obamacare is also upon us. Oh, you guys like that too, huh? Wow, okay. <laughs> they say it's going to be bad for small businesses. I agree. The one small business that will be hurt the worst? Liquor stores, because right now, if you don't have health insurance, the liquor store pretty much is your walk-in urgent care clinic. <laughs> I'm glad you said that, honey. Thank you. <laughs> For a $5 copay at the liquor store, you get a little small bottle of Jack Daniels, 20 minutes later, you feel better. <laughs> I wonder how much money Bill had to pay Barack to make Hillary the Secretary of State? Because you know, the Secretary of State is gone a lot of the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, gee. Um, eHarmony is in the news now, too, as well. You know, I'm getting sick of those online dating services advertised online. Anybody else sick of this besides me? Woo! Yeah, Woo! you've heard about that stuff, right? Be loved for who you are, get married. Now the guy's coming on and saying, you don't have to worry about being married. You just want a date, come to Eat Harmony. Well, why didn't he just change the name of his website to eHammerMe.com? <laughs> the one website that drives me absolutely nuts, ChristianMangle.com. Oh 
Um, oh my God. Find God's match for you, right? That way when you get divorced, you can blame it on God. <laughs> and don't you love the little testimonials that they have in there? You know, Hi, my name's Leanne. I'm Matt Baba. I'm ChristianMangle.com. We fell in love. We got married. And our son was born two hours later. <laughs> But what about the other ChristianMingle.com? I'd like to see MormonMingle.com. <laughs> Elder Smith, I'm here to take your daughter Susie out to the day tonight. And your daughter Trudy, and your daughter... <laughs> the one Mingle.com I really want to see? AmishMingle.com. Their motto is, have all the sex you want. Just no sex with the lights on. <laughs> See, the Amish people don't have electricity. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> but ladies, let's get this right. Dating always leads to jewelry, right? You hope it does. <laughs> well, you've seen the commercial on TV, right? Every kiss begins with K. Heard this one, right? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Oh, okay. I'd like to take it one step further. Every tryst begins with K. Why? <laughs> just talking, Mom, just talking. <laughs> well, the Supreme Court recently overturned the Defense of Marriage Act, or DOMA. I'm telling Lula. Another red state. Oh, one, one person. Woo! Thank you. Thank you. Well, don't feel bad. To show their support, Sesame Street episode this morning was sponsored by the letters L, G, B, and T. I know you conservatives don't worry. The conservative Christian right is up in arms over this. So tomorrow's episode, they're sponsoring with the letters O, M, G. Oh, my God. And W, T, F. Anybody texting here? <laughs> I do a fair amount of these shows, and uh, sometimes you come out and you realize you're just not a, a match for the audience, so kind of like tonight. <laughs> but I went actually to the show in my hometown and looked out in the audience, and it was 100% homies. You know, got the tattoos on the eyes, Raider shirt, you know, the hat's down really low. <laughs> That actually went pretty well. Actually went pretty well. A guy came up to me after me and said, Hey man, you look just like the banker at the bank that denied my loan application today, man. <laughs> no, sir, I just dress like a banker when I perform. Oh, okay. All right, man. Hey, you know what, man? What's that, sir? You know, you're pretty funny. Fucker. <laughs> Scott Sellers, I want to thank you very much.